Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the page of Julian. Yes, I did try to look aesthetically pleasing for the topic we have for today, which is zodiac signs. I wanted to do a video recommending books to your sun sign, aka your zodiac sign. Lately, I've been looking into zodiacs and it fascinates me. So disclaimer, I am not a professional. I am not an astrologist. I just do this for fun. I just looked into the internet. I just looked into the attitudes of every zodiac and it fascinated me. And I was shocked to see that my zodiac Libra is really accurate. So I was like, I kind of believe this in some way. But if your zodiac is nothing like you, it's completely fine. It's just a fun video, you know, for entertainment. So I picked two books for every zodiac because one book isn't enough. But if the books I recommended to you are books that you don't like, I'm really sorry when I looked into the zodiacs, this was just the book that I thought of recommending. Don't cover me in the comments, please. So let's just start. The first zodiac sign that we have is Aries. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I came from a school where the sections are called by different constellations and I do not know how to pronounce Aries. So Aries are mostly known for being determined. They can be moody, impatient. They're very enthusiastic. They like to look for competition. They can be labeled as ambitious sometimes. And they have that youthful strength and energy. The first book or series that I think fits your zodiac sign is The Infernal Devices by Casa and Grecaver. I almost said her name wrong. So I thought of recommending this to you because you don't have to read the other Shadowhunter Chronicles to read this. The energy that Shadowhunters here showcase is something Thing that I think you would enjoy and because shadow hunters can also be impatient you can relate to it in some way the next book that I thought of recommending to you is love and gelato the protagonist in that book Lena I think she can be sometimes impatient and moody she wants to know her mom but then she doesn't I just think that she's kind of a roller coaster as a protagonist it's not the best book of all time but it's a really light read yeah. The next zodiac sign is Taurus. Taurus are practical. They are patient. They like being surrounded by beauty and love. They love to cook. They are responsible. They like romance. They can be possessive though. So the first series that I thought of recommending to Taurus is To All the Boys of Love Before by Jenny Han. This is a light read, of course. I think you would enjoy Lara Jean because in the books, not in the movie, she's responsible. She likes organizing. She's this cute girl who likes romance. She likes to bake and I really think you would relate to Lara Jean in some way as a Taurus. The next series that I thought of recommending to you is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. I thought of this when I heard like they like romance, they are possessive, they like beauty and I was like ah, hello! It has a lot of that mythical like being in nature and I also think you would enjoy it because it has a lot of romance and the fae in Sarah J Mass's books are very very possessive so I think you would really enjoy it. The next sign is Gemini. This is where I had a really hard time. They are adaptable, they are affectionate, they can be social, they learn quickly, they like music, they are open-minded, they like having conversations about heavier subjects because they are very intellectual. I really had a hard time on picking a book that fits your zodiac. So if it doesn't fit you, I'm really sorry. First one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think Gemini being intellectual and open-minded, I think you would really enjoy The Hate You Give because it tackles a heavier subject about racism and how black people cope or how they do not cope. The next book that I thought of recommending is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Now I know Julian, why you're recommending a book that you didn't like. I, this is not mostly a recommendation. I think it's mostly a book that I think fits you. Julian, maybe someday it's about cheaters. So like, you think Geminis are cheaters? No, I do not. It's just that I can't really open my mind into the fact that you can romanticize cheating. But I think as a Gemini, you'll be open-minded and you'll try to look at ways why. And it also has music, which I know you guys love. <laughs> Yeah. The next object sign Cancer. Cancers are highly imaginative, are emotional, are insecure. Cancers are pessimistic, don't like strangers. Cancers are the definition of trashy romance novels. So the first series that I thought of Sorry, but you're a Twilight Saga. Hello, Bella, the queen of YA trashy protagonist. You should see me in the crowd. 
She's so beautiful, but she doesn't know it. She's pessimistic. She's very loyal, which is a trait that Cancer has. The next series that I also thought of when I saw Cancer was... Shut up! By Tahara Mafi. Juliet is very insecure. She hates herself so much. She doesn't like people, but that's just probably because she has been isolated for like 200 days. So I get that, I guess. But she falls in love so quickly. I'm sorry, Cancers, but this is the truth. The next zodiac sign is Leo. Leos are passionate, humorous. They're very dominant. They like being treated like a queen. So they are like the queen bees of the zodiacs. The strawberry blonde girl best friend. So the first book I thought of when I saw Leo was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas because we have a queen in here. She deserves a crown for being such a badass. She's very humorous. She's a queen. That's all I can say. And I think you would really relate to her. Next series that I thought of for Leos are The Lunar Chronicles by Marisa Meyer. The Lunar Chronicles is also very humorous. It has four kick-ass women. Oh dear God. It's their journey of getting the crown away from this villainous queen. Next one is Virgo. Virgos are the Monica Geller of the Zodiacs. Virgos are loyal, they are clean freaks, they like things in a certain way, they pay too much attention to detail, they only like to work, they can be labeled as people who don't really like that much romance. So the first series that I thought of giving to you is The Art of Scythe by Neil Schusterman. The world in this series is just so beautifully done. The world is just so amazing how no one dies, no one gets sick, but there are these people who are called sites who kills people so that the population will not overflow. Another series that I thought of recommending to you is the Illuminae Files. I just thought that because Illuminae has those beautiful transcripts, illustrations, I really think that you would enjoy it the way that I didn't. I don't know why I was so bored, but it wasn't really boring. The interior is just something that I don't really appreciate this, but I know you would enjoy it because it's actually so cool. Next one! Libra! Guess who's a Libra? I am. <laughs> so Libras are not biased. They're very social. They hate injustice. They can carry a grudge though, which is true. I carry a lot of grudge. Self-pity. So the first book that I thought of recommending to Libras is Oh, you're perfect by Colleen Hoover. There are books of Colleen Hoover's that are a no and a woe. And this book is definitely a no woe. It's life-changing. It has a lot of romance. It showcased this marriage that is about to fall because they can't have a child. And it's just so amazing how you can see it from that aspect. I also wanted to say Renegades by Marissa Meyer because that book tackles on the mind of an anarchist and the renegades. The renegades are the superheroes in this book. As a Libra, I think you would really enjoy it because you want to be unbiased. You want to look at the side of this person and you want to look at the side of this other person. It was really interesting seeing that through that series. I'm sorry that I forgot. Next one is Scorpio. Scorpios are brave. They're distrusting. They're mysterious. Stubborn. They hate dishonesty. They're very jealous but they are authentic. They are decisive. They have this calm and demeanor mood in them. Scorpios are the typical brooding love interest. <coughs> Hard and Scott. The first book that I thought of recommending is To Kill a Kingdom. So The Kill a Kingdom is a fairy tale retelling of The Little Mermaid. It's really dark. It has sirens instead of mermaids. The mermaids don't really look like humans. Sirens are the beautiful ones who are half fish, half human. And I love how the world was made. And I think you would enjoy how dark it is and very mysterious. The second book that I thought of recommending to you guys, I thought of recommending to you Verity by Colleen Hoover, but I was like, no. I wanted to recommend a thriller book, but I haven't really read any thriller books besides Verity. But I don't really want to recommend to you Verity because it is a weak thriller book. So I'm, I'm just gonna erase that. I haven't read this book, but I think you would enjoy it. I think you would enjoy You. It's a TV series in Netflix. I haven't read the book, but I think of reading the book. The TV series is just so great. If you want to watch it, I really do recommend it, but I know it's not like the book. The next one is Sagittarius or Sagittarius. I don't know. Sagittarius are very generous. They have a great sense of humor. They like traveling. They mostly make promises that they can't keep. They're very impatient. They like philosophy. They're extroverts and they don't really like paying much attention to detail. So the first book that I thought of recommending to you, if you're a Sagittarius, is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I just think because of how badass and how humorous, I really think you would enjoy it because it has a lot of romance, but the romance is 50-50 with the action. The action is so freaking great, but it's really fun. It's really adventurous. It's very action-packed, and I really think you would enjoy it. Another series that I thought of recommending to you, if you're a Sagittarius, is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. 
Percy Jackson really goes around the world traveling, looking for monsters, and having to have that knowledge of Greek mythology is just so great. Next one is Capricorn. Capricorns are disciplined, controlling, they are good managers, they like things in a certain way, they are the know-it-all, and they always expect the worst, and they dislike mostly everything. So the first series that I thought of recommending to you is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Jude, she wants to be in the courts. She's human in this world of Fae. Even though the Fae's are manipulative, she still wants to be in there. And she's very kick-ass. She's smart. She's very cunning. The next book is A Forest of a Thousand Letters by Julie Zito. This is a East Asian retelling of the evil queen from Snow White. It's an antagonist book. I like how cunning she is. I like how she puts her tree before her love life, I guess. Next on time, Aquarius. Aquarius are very independent. They are original. They like fighting for a cause. They are the activists of the Zodiac. They don't like dull situations and they are humanitarian. So the first book that I thought of recommending to you is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella because it deals with anxiety disorder and I think you as a person who likes fighting for a cause and how you can like understand people with mental disorders or illness. I also thought of recommending to you The Hate You Give but I already gave it to Gemini. I, but I also think that it goes well with Aquarius because it goes into the heavier subject. Another book that I thought of recommending to you that is It Ends With Us. To be honest, I really can't tell you what It Ends With Us really tackles because it's like a really spoilery thing to say because once you read it, you're gonna be like, oh, this is going to happen. But I just want you to know that it lets you be open-minded about a certain topic. The last zodiac sign is Pisces. Pisces, pieces of my heart, fishy. I don't know what that was. So, so Pisces are very wise. They are compassionate. They like sleeping. They can be overly trusting. They have a desire to escape reality. They don't like being criticized. They are selfless and romantic. So the first series that I thought of recommending to you is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armitage. This series has five books, and the first three books were really good for me. But then the fourth and fifth book it descended. But I would still recommend it to you if you want to like escape for a little while or for a long time because it has five books but it's easy to get into it's very romantic but it's a trashy romance book that I think as a Pisces you would really enjoy the next series that I thought fits Pisces is Harry Potter because if you desire to escape reality what better way to do that than Harry Potter yeah. Okay, that it is it, guys, for this video of books that I think fits your zodiac sign. So goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.